if your Samsung Smart TV has become slow and started lagging while streaming or even browsing the menu. It becomes slow when loading apps and doesn't respond to remote properly, then stay tuned for some straightforward and effective ways to make your Samsung Smart TV faster just like it was brand new. Before getting into the troubleshooting, first make sure that your TV's software is not outdated, as outdated software can cause your TV to malfunction and make it slower. So if you have any pending updates, update your TV first. And after you have checked for update, you can turn off auto-update, which can make your TV a bit faster. But if your TV is still slow with the latest update, then what can be really useful is soft resetting or cold booting your TV. You'll just need to unplug the power cable, let your TV sit for about 3-5 to five minutes, and then plug your TV back in. And after your TV comes back up, next you'll need to hold down your remote's power button for at least 5 seconds and release it to give your Samsung TV another restart. And after that, for most of you, your TV will feel snappier and smoother. Just make sure to repeat the process when needed. If cold booting wasn't enough, then we can run a few diagnostics and see if anything's wrong. You'll just need to go to settings and open support, then go to device care. Now even if it says good, start device care once again, and this will clear the background apps and cache, which will make your TV more responsive. And after running the update, I want you to go to manage storage and see if your TV is running low on internal storage and make sure your TV has enough free space. If it doesn't, then just select some unused apps and then hit delete. And this will definitely speed up your TV's performance. And after that, we will go to self-diagnosis and from here first we will check our Wi-Fi connection. Because if you have an unstable internet, then the streaming apps will load slowly. And after checking Wi-Fi, select Smart Hub and run the diagnosis. This will test all the small details of your network connection, make sure all the ports are unblocked, and will also check the Samsung server status. If you didn't find any issue after running the tests, but your Samsung Smart TV is still slow, then sometimes it may be a remote that's causing the trouble. So the first thing that you can do is repairing your remote. Just go to the remote control and from here first you can check your battery level and make sure it's not too low. Now to repair your remote, hold down the back and play pause button together until you see it's reconnecting on the screen. And after that if you press OK, you'll also be able to test your remote buttons. So just go through all these tests and your remote's buttons should respond immediately. If you see your remote is responding slowly, then it means it's your remote that is slow and not your TV. So in that case, you can use a different accessory such as a wired keyboard, controller, or even use your smartphone as a remote through the SmartThings app. We have a detailed video on how you can do that. But if your TV responds slow even with other accessories, then the last thing that you can do is resetting your TV to factory default. For that, you'll need to go to all settings, then general and privacy, go all the way down to reset, and enter your pin to confirm. But note that this will erase everything, and you'll need to set your TV back up and sign in with your Samsung account to be able to install your apps again. But hopefully this will make your TV faster like before. So these are all the things that you can do to speed up your Samsung Smart TV. Let us know your feedback down below and if you found this useful, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel to support us and I'll see you in the next one.